I want assurance for myself that one day when I have kids, that they'll be growing up in a Hawaii that's accepting and tolerant of them no matter who they want to be. I mean, I will love them unconditionally, but I want to make sure that other people will view them hopefully the same way I do and love them for who they are. And I think this is a step in that direction. My name's Chris Lee and I represent the windward side of the island in the state legislature as a state representative and I chair the Committee on Energy and Environmental Protection. I'm a huge supporter of marriage equality. I think it's the right thing to do. I think it comports with the values that we hold dear both in our constitution, treating everyone equally in a free country, and also here in Hawaii where we respect everyone regardless of who they are and whether or not they're different than us. It's just the aloha spirit that I think this bill really has at its heart. You know, it's been 20 years of debate. There's been a real back and forth, but this time around, I think we have a real opportunity because for the first time, a majority of the public here in Hawaii and across the nation supports marriage equality. It's the right thing to do. The Supreme Court has ruled, and we're at a point where I think there's political momentum to actually fulfill 20 years of expectation that we're gonna provide the same rights and benefits to everyone. And I think that's gonna happen in the next few weeks. And we'll make history. I don't think sexuality in society is changing, but I think our openness to talk about it definitely is. And that's bringing out issues like same-sex marriage and the way people identify themselves by gender or the way they interact and connect with one another are for the first time being discussed. And people are actually, you know, literally coming out of the closet on this. And I think it's a healthy discussion. I think we cannot continue with centuries of repression and pretending that certain people in our society don't exist and we force them to, into a mold that really isn't them. I think it's healthy that we're allowed to be, especially in this free country, the people who we are. I grew up here in Kailua and uh, went to school here and for me it's, it's home. I never wanted to get into politics. It was never an intention of mine and it was quite honestly in college, the quickest way to find a degree to get out of school and move on with my life. But starting to work here locally in politics, I discovered that individuals can really make a difference. It's so cliche, but it's true. You know, 10 years down the road, hopefully I'm still, maybe not here, but I'm still actively engaged somewhere, helping to solve a lot of the problems that I still see as troublesome uh, for us growing up here in Hawaii. Where are we going to find jobs? Where are we going to well, what's our community going to look like? We can't keep adding lanes to the H1. How are we going to commute? How are we going to rebuild our society so that we are more a vision of a 21st century Hawaii that's sustainable and that's going to be good for generations to come?